Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Fact News Network. A couple of uh, topics I want to kind of throw, throw out your way. Secretary Pompeo announced uh, today that we are on the first official nonstop flight from Israel to Sudan. Now, if you remember just the other day, the authorities in Sudan uh, had sharply criticized uh, one of their own representatives there for announcing a peace agreement with Israel. And, uh, but it didn't take long to turn that table around, did it? Now Sudan has got a non-flight stop uh, from Sudan to, to Israel. And of course, Sudan was one of those seven nations that was to be conquered. It has been overthrown everything for quite some time. And now uh, they're getting ready for their Silk Road initiative in that country there. Uh, turning to some other things here, uh, a good friend on uh, Twitter sent this to me. And I thought it was very interesting in light of the fact that we've talked about uh, the earth moving into a, uh, a debris field. Well, Science Alert just published yesterday, Earth appears to be traveling through the debris of ancient supernova. Very interesting, very interesting. Now, the article is kind of strange because they talk about, they go back into thousands of years ago where this has happened and things like that. But when you get a little further down in the article, again, they put it on here. Earth, you see, is currently moving through a region called the local interstellar cloud made up of gas, dust, and plasma. Um, well, that kind of coincides with some of the things that we've been told on that. So, But it's the first official uh, word that has come out by a science uh, magazine, online science magazine. So I thought I'd just share that with you. Also, Laura, Hurricane Laura, it has been officially upgraded as a hurricane. Prepare now, rapid intensification possible. And that's exactly what the folks there are saying at weather.com, that this is very likely going to turn into a, uh, uh, a very powerful storm in a very short period of time. Uh, so that is just right on the, the border here coming up on Florida there. Uh, I don't know what actually happened to that other storm, but it just seems to have disappeared there. And uh, uh, well, let's see if we get this commercial out of the way there. We can always jump back to it here in just a second there. Uh, and then also on, uh, I just wanted to quickly look while I was looking at these things here, the USGS uh, survey for earthquakes here. We had a 6.0 in Costa Rica. Um, and, uh, of course, a lot of them are jumping around the United States, too, again. 2.9 up in Arkansas. Uh, here we go. we got the hurricane up and going now. Let's take, take a listen to this real quick. Some winds that were uh, gusting to hurricane strength that they've been flying through. That pressure has been dropping a touch. You see it's down to 991. And here are those hurricane hunters that have been flying through through the storm you can see that they have seen some of those winds up to hurricane strength uh, we were just talking to the hurricane center saying you know thinking that at the 11 a.m advisory they would do it but jim they did not wait as even looking on the satellite you can tell this is getting stronger and it's starting to develop and that convection is finally wrapping stronger around it on stronger. all sides all right so the Laura expected to make landfall on Louisiana's coast instead of northwest Florida. They kind of changed that route there. And then it'll make a sharp right-hand turn, go back across uh, the lower states there, uh, Alabama, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and uh, Georgia. So um, it probably be downgraded by them. But the question will be is how strong will it get while it's over those warm waters there of the Gulf there? Uh, I'm sure quite intensive. Also going back to these earthquakes here, I, I want to just bring out 4.4 down in the Dominican Republic. D Dominican Republic, <laughs> get the D on the R there, can't stop doing the D. Uh, and anyway, uh, several of them also on the isle islands there, um, uh, Mana Passage 3.6, and then down into uh, Puerto Rico 2.6. Just a lot of quakes right there in that area there. Uh, popping off over there. And I'm just kind of watching these things because as the things that we've been, that's been shared with us, we're just wanting to see what's going on, where, where are quakes happening at, things like that also in uh, Petrolia, California. 
And then you also had some uh, other smaller little quakes up there in Idaho again, uh, even up to a 3.3 in Idaho and kind of backing out on this a little bit. Alaska getting a lot of quakes as well right now and uh, 3.4. Nothing, nothing really serious up in that area there. And then moving out there to those uh, to the islands, uh, we get jump up to 5.2, and then really, really good size on there, 2, 5.2 again over uh, in uh, zone region uh, Owen Fracture, which is off the coast of, well, Yemen there, not too far off of Yemen. And then in Africa, another 5.0. So pretty busy, pretty busy things going on out there. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Fact News Network. Thank you for uh, listening in.